Good morning, it's that bloke on a motorbike. I'm just having a tool on the outskirts of Sheffield today, on the South Yorkshire Derbyshire border. It uh, started off as a very nice, crisp, sunny day, and as I've got nearer to here, uh, cloud has got uh, a little bit more involved. Anyway, just having a, a bit of a ride round, going up to a place called Stores, or going through it anyway. And uh, that little beck that there is, which is just on my right hand side now, drops down and it goes into the River Loxley, one of its uh, tributaries. So I just have a, a nice little two. Oh, gee, never look this way whatsoever. Just as soon, because the other car had gone, so can I. So I've always got to be very alert. But this is a lovely little uh, lane. Looks like a bit of a tight one. It is a bit of a tight one. Stores House Farm. So we're coming into the village of Stores now, it says in the parish of Bradfield. When I were uh, looking it up to see what it was, it says that Stores is from the Norse, the Viking, Storth, which means wooded area. Well, this was probably once all wooded, there's still remnants of it. And then they built the uh, little village. Signs there of a flood. These look gorgeous. I think at the moment I'm probably, what, 15 minutes outside Sheffield city centre? They've got all this beautiful open country. Oh, this is great. Had a heck of a lot of rain. Last uh, couple of days, uh, there's been flooding all over the country. I think today is the 25th or 26th of September. They've been flooding all over. Now we're up in uh, North Yorkshire. Uh, when would it be? Last week? And the rivers there, they, they were dry and seen some things on uh, Facebook people have put um, videos up where it's absolutely going crackers this rain you know and the water's belting over some waterfalls that were totally dry ooh that's a big pothole that was a really big pothole couple of decent tight bends on it. Now we're going to get a big view as we go over here. Well, sort of. 
lovely little lane, isn't it? Well, we've got a bit of sun come out now, which is much better. Still a bit chilly. I've broken out the uh, electric jacket for the first time this uh, late year. It's the first time since summer. It's not plugged in, but I have uh, got it on. So where does that go? Let's have a look, shall we? Might go better, lad. Get it in full gear. Let's see where this goes. It's what I like doing on a, a Saturday afternoon. Just get out on bike and don't wonder too much about where you're going. Just go and explore. As long as there's a cup of coffee and preferably a a butty at the end of it. Ah, we've turned onto a road now called Hilltop Road. And uh, I'm just wondering, will we get any really nice views with it being on top of a hill? Got a really nice farm here. Big tractor. She's really quiet, is Kelly today? Veg on left. Sounds interesting. You, you've got to love the road names up here, haven't you? Oak Hill. Well, it's still pretty green at the minute, but uh, we are now officially in autumn. So all these trees will be turning soon. Every season these areas look completely different. This is lovely with these woods. Got the bracken there that's just starting to turn. That lovely golden colour it goes. Just look at that view. Is it going to go spectacle? Sort of. Got the Derbyshire Hills there, that dark foreboding skyline. That's on the far side of Mortimer Road, which is more commonly known as the Strines. Oh, that sun's beautiful when it. Uh, comes inside helmet it's not too low to cause any problems oh this is gorgeous oh listen at that motor oh that's glorious That's an old farm. That's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, 
Well, Betsy, you've done it again, Phil, for me love. You've found a road I've not been on. I must let you and Calimoto talk to each other more often. Those clouds are just sort of painted on this ground. Different patches of light and shade. I put a basic route into Calimoto and uh, that went pear shaped within about the first quarter of a mile. I'm not bothered. It's just lovely being out. That patch of light there is amazing. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Pigs in them fields, it woods. Wow. I didn't see them in time to stop and let you have a look, but there were pigs foraging. That's fantastic. I think at the moment we're heading towards Sheffield. One of the uh, little reservoirs in front of us looks fairly low actually. I think that's where uh, Sheffield Sailing Club have their um, marina, whatever you want to call it, where they do the sailing. I think I know where I'm going to be coming out here. I think we're going to do a hard left turn. We are going to do a hard left. Yep. Oh, some gravel there as well. Don't want my front wheel sliding on that. Here's a bit of their side. So a lot of gravel on that edge. This road now goes on into Low Bradfield and then I'm going to the post office cafe. And get myself a cup of coffee uh, and something to eat. Not sure what it will be yet. Oh, I can smell the Yorkshire puddings from that uh, pub, the plough on my left hand side. They've got a lovely um, picnic area there, down by the stream. Absolutely beautiful there. And this, while well, this village is something else. It's getting to be uh, one of my favourite little coffee stops is this. Just got to find somewhere, if I can, to park. I normally just put it on that corner. Oh, finally got somewhere. That took some doing. I normally park over there where that silver car is. But uh, it is the weekend so everywhere's busy. Right. Sandwich time. I will be back shortly. Right, I'm back on the road. I had a really nice... Uh, bacon and sausage sandwich and, and a cup of coffee a cup of black and it was wonderful I'm going to have a um, a, a burger but they've run out they sold the last one yesterday apparently 
which I was a bit disappointed with, but their, burger, their uh, sausage and the bacon is from a local farm, a local butcher, and it is spectacular. So I had that, and my coffee, I talked to a bloke with a triumph that he's had since 2010 when he bought it. So uh, a good chat with him, but now back on the road. Just exploring the little lanes. Do you know, I was just going to say, why was there some really white sheep, clean sheep in there? And they're not the geese. I think Specsavers needs a visit. Oh, it's three o'clock already. I think I'd better start and make my way back home. Got a few bits and pieces to do when I get back. Packing all my camping gear away, I thought I wouldn't get away again. But uh, later this week, it's got some nice weather forecast, so... I might just be able to get away for an overnighter, I don't know. I might try my new sleeping bag out then. I bought a uh, a down sleeping bag from Alpkit. Uh, I'm itching to uh, try it out. If I can't get off a bike, I might have to put my tent up, probably my little tent up in the back garden. Uh, and uh, have a go with it then and then it'll be roll on camping season again going to be doing more of it next year where does this little lane take me let's have a look shall we Oh, I don't know, but look at that view. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is brilliant. That old chap I was talking to, um, he was old. He's only 10 years older than me. Uh, he was saying that he likes to get out on a Sunday morning before traffic gets busy and have a ride out round these little lanes and saying like that uh, I like these single track roads I tend not to get a lot of heavy traffic on it I do believe this is going to come out on Mortimer Road on Strines Yeah, I think it is. So, shall I go right or shall I go left? Let's have a think. Uh, if I go right, there's some roads which go off there. If I go left, more or less straight back. I think I'll go right, but I'm going to have to go on to the end of this and then uh, make my way back, otherwise I'll never get my camping gear put away. Oh 
God, he's shifty. On that push bike. It's just got that little bit of crispness now in air. Why? Cut the corner like that when you can't see. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to pull in here then I can show you it properly. Look at that. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, come on. I gotta make my way back. Lovely little woodland on my left. Right folks, I'm gonna make my way back home now, so I think I'll call this ride for today. So thank you for coming along with me on this little impromptu bimble over the back lanes of uh, Bradfield, Lower Bradfield. So if you're a uh, subscriber, thank you very much. If not, if you could consider it because it really does make a huge difference to the channel. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think to it. Give it a like, share it with somebody you think might be interested and that way it grows and we all become a bit bigger community. If you're out on your bikes, stay safe, keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down and I will see you all back out on the road soon. So bye for now folks, bye.